the production and manufacturing of goods have always been paramount to global development. Since the Industrial Revolution, research and development has gone into more efficient and profitable ways to manufacture different products. From production lines to robotic arms and complete automation of the manufacturing process, it may seem that most have been done in regard to efficiency in manufacturing. However, some individuals and enterprises have decided that there is so much more. To some extent, companies are experiencing diminishing returns with production on Earth, and are beginning to think about using outer space as a setting for its production. The different challenges of managing toxic byproducts on Earth are not a problem in space. Being able to manage all these things in space and greatly reduce the risk of working is set to make a massive change across many industries in the near future. The dynamics of the possible transition and the feasibility of this change will be explored more, and we will have a lot for you to learn. So in this video, we will show you how the future of manufacturing is rooted in space. Do watch this video until the end, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Given the close prospect of launching long-duration exploration missions, the design and manufacturing of space architects must also make a transition. Being able to achieve manufacturing in space would provide the opportunity for more sustainable and flexible missions, both in transit and on surface. This will be done through on-demand fabrication, repair and recycling capabilities for critical systems, habitats, mission logistics, and maintenance. With these things in place, there will be significant cost reductions due to the reduced launch mass, as well as a significant risk reduction due to the lower resilience on spares and over-designing items to ensure reliability. The In-Space Manufacturing ISM, arm of NASA is developing these capabilities by leveraging the highly disruptive technologies being made on Earth and reproducing these operations in the space environment. Hence, the International Space Station ISS, plays a role of a one-of-a-kind testbed for the ISM technology roadmap. The ISM is made up of an integrated task portfolio which results in the development of manufacturing and recycling of systems and processes that will spur production of a wide variety of parts and components. The ISM has a motto which says, Make it, don't take it, and it is led by the Space Technology Mission Directorate STMD, Game Changing Development GCD, and the Office with Marshall Space Flight Center MSF as the lead center. Well, that's a lot of acronyms. This project makes use of a streamlined management method with an average risk tolerance so as to obtain technical implementation with an aggressive schedule and budget baselines. There is enough space in space for business, and entrepreneurs worldwide are looking already to move manufacturing to a whole new level. Given that there is so much allowance, getting the equipment over and beyond will take a whole lot of money. What makes manufacturing in space such a great idea? Well, one product can be taken as an example, and that is the fiber octet cable. This is the technology responsible for high-speed data and long-distance communication. Higher grades of these cables are largely affected by gravity. The cables can be made on Earth, but it is very tricky and the quality at the end can be very poor. Gravity causes some issues with the consistency of the structure, which also introduces weaker signals. During production, the molten glass is stretched into fibers as thin as fishing lines and then cooled. However, while it is cooling, tiny crystals may form, making signal transmission poorer. The microgravity will suppress the formation of these crystals, and more data will be carried over long distances through manufacturing in space. This process will produce higher quality Z-Blan, which is very valuable. A kilogram of Z-Blan will cost over a million dollars. The method to this will be a luggage-sized, self-contained drop tower that will be launched into space in order to take advantage of the microgravity environment and the ISS. These contraptions will be used to spool the materials inside. As a result of the low gravity obtainable, these devices will be able to spool hundreds of kilometers of Z-Blan per day, which will mean a lot of profit on Earth. In addition, the microgravity environment on the International Space Station is suitable for more humanitarian efforts. Great strides have been made in the stem cell technology and biological 3D printing. These advantages have been so remarkable that we are now on the verge of printing functioning hearts from a human stem cell. This will mean that the organ will not be rejected by the host body and patients would not need immune suppressants for life. As with the case of fiber optics, building such has the challenge of gravity. The hearts will be highly organized muscle tissue, and that has different types of cells that are almost impossible to be made on Earth by printing. 
For heart tissue to be successfully built, the nutrients and stem texture would have to be in a very liquid medium. This cannot be achieved on Earth without some form of scaffolding for the ink. It has been very difficult for scientists to figure out a way to remove the scaffolding without damaging the completed organ. If these operations can be moved to space, then that would mean there would be a complete revolution. The 3D printers on Earth are not essentially 3D in the sense of operation. They work by stacking two-dimensional layers of material on top of each other. This process usually takes a long period of time. With specially designed 3D printers in space, the speed is increased by almost 100 times. A recent test was carried out and a 3D human heart lost about half of its height and gravity was restored moments after printing. A printed organ will be ready for use on Earth about 45 days after printing. This technology would certainly be a game changer in the medical industry. It will mean that patients can receive organs from their own stem cells with no possibility of immune rejection, or having to wait for some years before getting their organs. Another great application of manufacturing in space will be very beneficial and profitable, and that is the manufacturing of super-efficient solar panels. Gallium arsenide is a much better conductor of solar energy than the usual silicon-based panels currently being used around the world. Gallium arsenide has about 40% efficiency as opposed to the 15% provided by silicon solar panels. The challenge with manufacturing this product on Earth is that there are so many toxic byproducts such as arsenic. In the 90s, the first GA's semiconductors were made in space. This product was about 10,000 times better than what was attainable on Earth. The vacuum of space gives great room for the compound to be grown in and heat layers just one atom high. Thousands of these layers stacked on top of each other will result in a product free of defects, which will increase solar panel efficiency by a theoretical 60%. Assembling these panels in space and making them oriented in such a way that they will always face the sun, large amounts of the solar facility could still be used on Earth. Toxic byproducts will have no negative effects due to the fact that they're in space, and if this is done on a very large scale, solar energy demands on Earth will surely be fulfilled. The manufacturing of microchips in space is another method that will reduce the wastage of water on the planet. The production of a single 12-inch integrated circuit requires about 2200 gallons of water for the cleaning and cooling process. If the manufacturing industry of microchips can be moved into space, it will mean that such massive waste of water is unnecessary. While in space, it will cause fewer environmental hazards and production will be in better conditions. Metal alloys are also a great fit for space manufacturing. Microgravity allows metals to mix more evenly than under the influence of gravity. One of the alloys with high potential is the magnesium alloy for medical implants. Magnesium alloys are half the weight of titanium alloys and match the density and strength of the human bone very closely. They also do not biodegrade in the body harmfully. Pashat Kunta, a bioengineering professor in the University of Pittsburgh, is currently working to produce patented alloys in a high temperature furnace on the ISS in partnership with TechShot. The process of making these alloys involves melting highly reacted magnesium with other elements such as calcium and zinc. After this is done, the melted materials are left to mix evenly in a vacuum for a protracted time, after which it is cooled. On Earth, these alloys are more difficult to make because impurities settle at the bottom and the upper layer oxidizes to form a skin that cannot be used. Most layers have to be disposed of. In fact, the usable middle layer usually has pockets and pores of unmixed elements which have to be processed further for any quality material to be produced. While manufacturing these alloys in microgravity, all these challenges do not arise. Just as some scientists are working to produce human organs in space, an Israeli startup, Aleph Farms, is planning to do the same with the production of meat. This company grows cultured beefsteaks that have the same taste and look as real meat. The external relations manager of the company, Yoav Reisler, stated that while other companies use only muscle cell, we grow connective tissues, blood vessels, and fat cells that let us make beefsteaks instead of patties. The company has partnered with Russian company 3D Bioprinting Solutions to create the first tiny piece of meat on the ISS. Although this is not such a huge stride, it does pave the way for more work to be done. Eventually, this meat could feed astronauts on long-term crewed missions and future space settlers in return. These are just some of the great things that can be achieved through manufacturing in space. The possibilities are limitless, and the future of the industry beckons. As space transport becomes more commercialized and more forays are done up in the sky, manufacturing is sure to follow suit. 
It is expected that there will soon be a boom in these space technologies so as to increase the possibilities of more activities carried out in space. Businesses can look forward to making more gains as they manufacture in space. The end result of space manufacturing would be beneficial to the environment as there would be less harm done. It would also mean that the global population will have higher access to higher quality products and a whole lot of clean energy. A revolution is on the way and we are all gearing up for a greater future of manufacturing and a better Earth in the process. Thank you for watching this video. While you're still here, go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen for more high quality content. See you there.